folks welcome in this video I'm going to be showing you how to send charts in email using Google Apps Script. Sending charts on email can be used to send attendance charts of the students, sale charts for the weeks, share the price charts etc. In this video I'll be showing you how to automate this process and the prerequisites for this video is going to be basics of Google Apps Script and how to create charts in Google Sheet. Before we get into the video I would like to thank Om Kamath, a big 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 thank you to Om Kamath for designing the channel thumbnail uh, i'll be leaving his youtube channel link and his instagram link in the description go give him a follow and don't forget to subscribe to his channel enjoy the video so the step one for this one video is going to be having the sample google sheet so we have some subjects here with their marks in exam one exam two and exam three the step two is going to be creating charts that we need to send in the emails so there are basically two ways by which you can create charts in Google Sheets. The first one is by going to insert, clicking on chart, then selecting the data that you have. If you want, you can edit this one, delete this. I'm just going to select the data here and I'm going to be clicking on insert and I'm going to click on chart. It will automatically get done and it will select the column stuff that you want. I'm going to be saying I want a pie chart for this. So it knows key, the marks and subjects is which one is higher. And if I want, so this is, this is the first way by which you can create charts. The second way is by selecting the data once again. Select the data. Go to the explore button here. And here you can find different, different, different types of charts that you can create. So this is the, so I'm just going to add one more chart. I'm going to go to my chart. I'm going to have say an histogram chart. Where is it? I'm going to have a column chart. That's it. So these are the two, two charts that I want to send. The next step is going to be writing the Google automation script. So I'm just going to go, go to my tools, click on script editor. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is creating a function which say send charts. This is what is it. And I'm going to open it, close it, start writing the script here. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is getting the Google sheet. So I'm going to bring constant sheet is equal to, I'm going to do the spreadsheet app dot get active sheet. Since we have only one sheet in this video in this case that we have here so i'm just going to be doing active sheet and next we're going to be getting all the charts from the google sheet so it's going to be sheet the, the variable that we created here it's going to be sheet dot get charts we're going to be using the get charts come function here and now we'll get all the charts here and the next thing that we're going to be doing is creating some new variables that we need so here I've created three new variables so the first thing that I've done is created an array where I'm going to be storing all the charts from the sheet secondly I've created the email body by putting the charts variable in the email body here now the next thing that I'm going to be doing is using a for each function you might have number of charts you might have 10 12 how many of charts that you want so we'll be using a for each function so that so that we can go through each of the charts and convert them into images and send them on the email. So I'm going to be doing charts, the variable that we had created here. So I'm going to be doing charts dot for each and I'm going to do function and here I'm going to be having the variables chart comma i. So the, here we have done is I've used the for each function and now I've converted all the charts that I have in the Google Sheet into an image for the email body. And next we've aligned the image of the chart to the center of the email body. Now the last part of the code is going to be sending it on the email. So we're going to be doing mail app dot send email. And we're going to open the brackets. And the first, the first variable that is going to be is going to be two. So we need to send it to someone. So it's going to be arnirani123 at the rate gmail.com. It's going to be my email. Don't forget to add the comma. They are very important. You might face an error if you don't add commas after the variable here. Then I'm going to be adding the subject. So it's going to be charts for the marks. Add a comma. The next one is going to be the HTML body that we need to add in the email. It's going to be email body that we created before. One more comma. And in the end, it's going to be one more inline images. And we're going to put in the email images variable that we created. So, so this is all. The code is complete, is, is ready now for execution. I'm going to save the code. 
and I'm just gonna go ahead open my Gmail. Till then, I'm just go go ahead select the send charts function, and I'm gonna run the code. And hopefully the code should work. The execution started. The execution completed. Now I'm gonna be going to my email, and I'm gonna see if the email has come in. And here you can see charts for the marks email has successfully come in. Let's open the email. And here you can see that the charts from the Google Sheet has successfully come in the email. See this chart that I created has come in here and it's come exactly in the center and it's converted it itself into an image. So this is all for this video. I hope you've understood how to send charts in email using Google Apps Script. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I will see you in the next one.